Welcome back, everyone. This video will not be focused on writing code, but instead on how to troubleshoot it. Reloading the page and trying to guess what happened can only get us so far. Luckily, your web browser contains multiple tools to inspect and analyze a web page, and in this video, we'll learn how to use them. The first tool we're going to use is called View Source. By simply right-clicking on a page and choosing View Source from the menu, all the HTML code for that page is displayed for anyone to see. Now, although this is not particularly useful for your own site, it can help you see how other sites are made so you can learn their tricks. Some browsers even create links to every file so that it's easy to check if they're pointing to the right location. Next, we're going to look at a much more powerful tool. It's an element inspector that every browser has built in, and even though they're all slightly different, they're all essentially the same thing. To bring up your element inspector, right-click on a page and choose Inspect Element. The element inspector shows all the elements that are in a page so that they can be selected and analyzed. Whichever element was right-clicked will be selected by default, but different elements may be selected either by clicking on their tags in the inspector or by using the selection tool up here to visually select elements. So it's up in the top left corner, and then you can visually select what you want to choose. Once selected, all the styles which are affecting an element will be displayed on the right side of the inspector. New rules can be added, properties can be modified, but most importantly, it shows where the styles are being defined. As the size and scope of a project increases, it can become more challenging to locate problematic styles and correct them. So the Element Inspector is your best bet for troubleshooting errors. These inspectors also come equipped with an error console, which will try to locate any mistakes in the code. And while this can be extremely useful at times, it can't help with code that is written correctly but doesn't work as desired. Either way, start practicing with the inspector now and it will save you a world of headaches later. Thanks for watching and be sure to post your results in the comment section below.